My name's Jonathan Foyle. I'm a historian of the early Tudor period with a specialism in architecture. When Thomas Wolsey came to Hampton Court in January 1515, the workmen arrived at the riverside with their tools and chisels rang out much as you hear them today as conservation work proceeds. Wolsey's Hampton Court was a palace built on a European scale and the terms of that scale were set in Rome by the papacy. In 1510, a book was published by a writer called Paolo Cortesi, one of the leading scholars of the papal curia. It was called De Cardinalatu, of the cardinalat, the A to Z for the man in red. Chapter two explained how to build the ideal cardinal's palace. Build it so large, said Cortesi, that no one dare invade it. An astonishing concept. It was never fully finished even in Wolsey's lifetime and perhaps it was inevitable that Henry VIII sooner or later would take it over as his own. And in 1525 he made Wolsey swap it with Richmond. In 1528 Henry moved in and began building his kitchens, a bedroom, an ensuite and a study. All the things you need for a cosy palace. 